know who it is to thank him. Yes, yes. So, uh, Derek and his sister. Okay, if you don't want to say you can let your agent. So who is going to test you? Not how to do all right. Thank you. And then other positions that we have only more than one candidate. There are different general positions. So we have three candidates. They should please come forward. Assistant General Megan. Now the next one is the male executive. Male executive All right, so we'll begin the process and it will be five minutes. Candidate, when you are presented, when it's two minutes, and my team will show you the next five minutes. So we shall invite the, the presidential and Thank you very much, uh, Madam. Good afternoon, colleagues. Um, I was taking a little bit of work because it's just it's been proposed to have a is half a down. Um, let me see that.
them to get to them. Let me say, DNA has been given here. So, for this one side, that would be a job. That would be the household to do that. You see how see, um, I hope I don't get with us and things and then get to meet me. So thank you very much and then let's see how we go for the second day. Thank you very much. So that was right on time. Question for him. Uh, we want you to continue. <laughs> Thank you. Why, why? I, I, I'll give you showdown. <laughs> no showdown, please. <laughs> okay, my, my, I should ask you a question. Not a question, please. I'm talking about the, our DMA house. Our DMA house. You know, the uh, Akinjani came up, uh, Volga came up, and here uh, we are. I just want to remind you uh, what you think. Where has uh, uh, Volga visited how to read the map? Where has I just want to talk about Thank you. Thank you. So we'll take the second one. Thank you. Thank you. I think there's two questions. Yes. I think it's uh, almost uh, one and the same question. Let me call you that on Saturday, I can hear we present to you the new plans that will be blocked. Very beautiful plan for Shiashi and for the additional projects. We have been able to an impact of the data in part of the team. And then the Marindo, the chairman of the building committee, we've been able to do a lot of work. Um, currently, our land which was not registered, is registered. We have to make sure that the properties are well done now. We have the um, drawings done. Now, actually, from the center of the Saturday, we discussed the we are trying to whether it's or whatever. But I'm sure with the support of the prayer to do something together. Even if you are not able to do that, so that some So on Saturday, those discussions will have done. Show you the beautiful problems. The good thing is that how to get to the point where if you decide to build it, you can do basis. Once we finish the groundwork, you can do it in basis safely without any problem. So with that the part of groundwork, the most important thing left now is the tax. But even then, we are looking at other options, including the possibility of build, operate, and transfer back to the having some kind of um, percentage in that. We are talking to our fund. Exactly, the fund is diversified. But once they are, they are interested in helping us to actually support us and putting up the well. So, so I'm sure tomorrow, when the fund gives us their new direction, we we'll hear something about the fund giving loans to members to be able to at least finish it with the same way, maybe also go in 
้องสุดยอดสามเดือนเชื่อดับการติดจะได้ผู้ได้ติดเสร็จแล้วก็ปัดคือชีวิตสมบูรณ์ไปซูมียาร์นอตยาพ่อสมบูรณ์ได้เป็นหลักโต้ไอ้ที่ดูสปอร์ตมิสเซสต้องทำไปเดมแต่ก็ถึงจะทำเวกส์ทีมที่ดูสเอ็กซ์นอตเวกส์ดังแต่ก็มีความเพียรด้วยยูอาร์ดิสชาร์โอเคว่าสมาร์ทฟิชเชอร์เดดิสชาร์จโอเอาเอาเดดิสชาร์จอ่าโอเคก็ได้ส่วนผสมอันนี้เป็นตัวแปรที่กว่าการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต่อการต
and our common good and our futures as well. Beyond this, I want us to work on certain things that we have been working on that we haven't completed, issues relating to retirement on salaries or some level of us in terms of having worked for a certain year, probably where you've got into in your own. You look around by the security agencies, the judicial, the lawyers, and the AD department, judges, what are you? We have components of their retirement. I think they will help us. All issues relating to pensions, they are one to two things. I believe our future is very important. My last two will be on healthcare members. I will associate myself with all the good that we have done this far. But one thing that I wanted to achieve this time around, and I think it's doable, is that on in our conditions of service, we have healthcare, but implementation has been brought to the top. I think we can have a solution to this. One, we should get a draft document which guides the implementation. So once the ministry and the agencies are doing, we'll do that and then we'll top it up with a chart, which will mean that whether you are Ghana Health Service or City Health Service, we can cross each other or you need to do it to access it. And then with your account, and you can see it. because of time, we have but I'm saying thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we'll invite the second candidate. Oh, na mumbo mo insam kakram mami. Maya mutei. Your future vice president. Tama mo shoota. But I, I thank you for the opportunity, EC, and everybody gathered here. I do have the ladies and gentlemen. Um, I just want to put this quickly on first start. I think sometimes we need to be factual in the change that we need. Um, we have been here in the world as well. And yes, we used to have the lawyers who did it after we put it. And we didn't really have the need for them. And that was successful. Um, I don't recall any game in China that uh, we contacted uh, the answer to be annoyed, to be honest. And that he has said he won't take he won't take any money. If you serve in a committee and you proffer legal advice, it's part of your work. I'm a physician. If you are doing a CPD on diabetes, for instance, say let's consider this own particular things. You have to ask the medical advice. So pro bono has a legal definition. I don't think that. Those services qualify as proven service. But substantively, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Emil Skilk. I'm a consultant physician and a teacher. Now, I have experience. I've worked at the division. I've also worked at the national level because I'm a current council member. And what we do is we develop policies for the executive committees to implement. And so we have involvement. So I've been involved at all levels. I have experience. And I've shown that leadership at the greater at the level. All of you that attest to the fact that. We don't sleep, we think outside the box. And that's what I'm trying to do. Don't leave it here with anything. My other thing is that we can somebody put things outside the box. Now we are here doing e voting partly because of some of the advocacy that we take. I remember we did where I put it to me and say, So you in the corner, and we proposed that it was accepted. We found it for we are here today, and we are here. And thanks to the advocacy that we come here. This brings inclusiveness and participation. And broaden, you know, the involvement of um, uh, persons in the decision making process. I think that because of that, consider rewarding you know, for because we broaden the opportunity for those who put in the year to vote. And we know that the conditions of service are the heart of GMS activity. And I'm part of the negotiation committee. I'm part of those who brought the conditions of service document to be. And we've been engaging for renewal. Currently, we know that by issues of the thirteen months of implementation. And we are pushing that, you know, it's been mechanized so that the bottlenecks are still really going to be achieved. It's, you know, um, you know the done over it. But recently, again, you got some sugar in the tea. You know, it's part of the people who negotiated with that. I identify as a junior doctor. I am. And because I've been a junior doctor's leader, I was served on council. And, you know, um, because of where I work, uh, partly, as a board member of medical and issues of them and we help them. Those who 
and complete our job and we complain that they needed to renew their lines in terms of their permanent registration and we made a presentation and they now enjoy the rebate. I would don't take this with and my role as a teacher and mentor and I mentor a lot of doctors in various positions. And that is you know uh, one of the things that I'm gonna push uh, for mentorship but especially the junior one to take up leadership position as we said this morning. And if you're enjoying residency, the the fifth we residency training on our part of the program and I said and then I'm going to answer. You know, we made a presentation to government, government concerns are here, and to spell out the future GM to project. And here we are, all those issues are coming up. So if somebody who gets support, you know, recently there's a new postgraduate training by Medical and Dental Council, and I would love it by the Ghana College. It was true, it was as a result of the public engagement we did, and the most people that are doing the events for 50 years and ago. And this has led directly. The new policy where now new doctors or young doctors cannot enter residency, you know, within the shortest possible time. We need to engage our identified groups. I've heard your message, the uh, medical women have taken it, and I'm going to take those on board. We, we need to engage our uh, uh, superintendent more, especially for the increase of welfare and implementation of our financial services. House officers complain that we don't have uh, accommodation in the day before, but who are the groups? So I think we need to further engage to improve the real business. The issue about the mental health of doctors is key and quite dear to my heart. We are seeing cases that the discipline of the fitness to practice committee of GMA and saddens my heart. And I think I support all the moves that are being made to improve the mental health of um, um, our colleagues and the position to our organic more. One of the things that came up with my mind is about, again, one of my mentors are thinking about the doctors. It's for me to champion the introduction of um, what is the um, uh, tax free, you know, for those doctors to set up training and um, hospitals in the rural areas to enhance the decentralization. So it's a doctor who cares, who has experience, who wants to engage, who listen, and open himself for you to talk about the device. But thank you very much. So questions. My name is uh, Dr. Kofi Akkoti. I'm currently the director of the Department of Public. Ah, Dr. Yankson, I think uh, I know. Okay. I know you've done a lot of things. I want to 
we have now been to the Christian back. Now we have an definition. So we need to try to go through the proper process of uh, election. Well, uh, my question is that uh, we all have, you know, our council member. So I know the question. Talk about the conditions of the for a long time. But then we have an issue of implementation. Certain diseases that cannot be treated by health Then Ghana Health Service came up with a proposal that a practitioner something new from the outside to actually accept. You know that the employer has but we also think that if the employer is not self can we allow ourselves also to I mean taking through those audits because say doing something to save our, ourselves. That are your thoughts. Thank you for that. Thank you for all the questions. Um, the issue of the doctor post graduation, as far as the theory, what we can do, right from the point where you are going to be at, the GMA and the GMA can actually come in. Moving qualified right, on issues relating to a GMA, how we can do it. I must say that I don't know when your particular thing is, but since time, this has been a way from. But based on what you are saying, it sounds to me maybe you never got that. I can assure you that I will be with an extra president in Canton that as soon as you vote for us, we are started to reach out to you and the year group and make sure that we educate you properly on the issues of DFA. And then at the divisional level, we we'll also instruct all the divisional executives to also ensure that members in their region both in both old and young are equally educated. The problem we have is that sometimes, and I'm happy you are here. I give you a lot, a lot of applause for that because in the past, when we even call meetings at the traditional level, it is very difficult to get members attending. Some will even see that the meeting is going on that will drive down. So in some, we'll continue to hammer home all the good things that we are making that way of trying to get to the system. Any lapses that have occurred, we make sure that we fix them in the next few months. Because we want every member of the GMA to be involved in what we do. And the best way is for you to understand how the GMA will do that and be part of the patients of the group. But all other times that the GMA is functioning are common. Thank you. So come up there. Um, I agree with you. That health service is an institution one day to do something. I don't know whether that process is not at the time that the issues came, the GMS position, which I believe is the right position, that we communicated to the leadership of the government was that. At that condition set of service documents we have signed, we look at the chapter on our health care. The issues are very simple. All of us in here, within the public service, are responsible for paying for our primary care and other related rights under the health insurance, national health insurance. So it was mandatory that all of us get the national health insurance. At the same thing. And because our premium 
towards the national health insurance are actually paid by us through deductions from our contributions that have been sent to SNEC. What it means is that we ourselves are actually responsible for, if I'm to use the word of the National Health Insurance Authority and the scheme, the scheme covers about 90 to 95% of one disease. So what it means is that as doctors, we have actually paid for that 90 to 95% already through the premium that we pay that gets to the health insurance authority. All we need to do is to regularize and take the health insurance card for us to be able to say that. Then the document goes on further to say that once we have done that part of the package, all other things outside of the national health insurance have to be catered for by the so if we are going by that small mathematics, 90 to 95 percent is what the national health insurance What it means is that it's just about five to ten percent is left. So whilst we have paid for minimum 90 percent, the employer has to pay for only 10 percent. So the GMA found it very disingenuous to an extent for the employer to come again and say that we should beyond the 90 percent that we have paid for, we should come back and contribute to take care of the 10% again. Then what it means is that basically we have nullified the importance of the document. We have found a way to bring the burden back on it. Meanwhile, the way it was also going to be done, it was going to be disadvantageous to members of the GME in the sense that because of the nature of our work, the fact that most of us is in modern, the percentage base are put that you are using then means that we even though in terms of numbers we are in minority, we are going to contribute a lot more to help in quote, build no. of non GMA members. And those were the two areas we saw that the Ghana Health Service has to address properly before the GMA and its members can be part of that challenge. So we put them to them, and we are still awaiting that. But beyond that, in order not for everything. The GMA has been working on issues around health insurance. We are discussing health funds that may be come tomorrow, Saturday, at the business session. All of these things. So we are very mindful of the importance of health. But we also don't want a situation where the employer no. comes to the issue to get us to pay. has been for us, GMA members at MPs, so that we can happily arrange for you to now take over the leadership as vice president. Thank you. My question goes to Paul. My name is Dr. Anand. Based on your track record and statement, my question is that where do you think you for the bit? Because I think you are going to Okay. My question goes to Paul. Based on your experience and then your track record, I wanted to find out why you didn't go for the question. I think you are qualified. Okay, thank you. Um, I probably will start with the, the third question. Okay. Yes, my name is Dr. Okay. 
But I'm yet to repeat. So I can I can go now. Okay, so I'll start with the second one that talks about why I'm not going for the president. I, I like the endorsement. I think it's an endorsement, and I'm humbled by it. But you see, everybody dreams differently. Uh, you we'll see. And it is not about personalities. You know, stay boy, you are fine, you are my friend. That's it. You go way back. It's not about people. It's about GMB. It's about the shift that I'm going to do. And I'm going to offer myself that we think that this association needs some recognition. A new direction with the support of the president, Expo, and council. And you, it's about what I think I can do. Okay, and what I can do is to support the president, achieve our political objective. It is not our personalities. One day I hope and I pray that I'll become the president. But for now, please vote for me as your vice president. And I'm fine with that. The second one was on the 13th month. Again, I want to leave. I want you to leave here with think outside the box. You know, I mean, sometimes as a teacher, you need to have a critical message. A critical message that think outside the box. Why do I say that? Because it's in our conditions of service, especially the big class, they are not paying. So what we've done as a negotiating committee is that we are proposing that we make that money. So that it's on the pay slip that we did with the full allowance, so that we don't have to now do a little before it's paid. You know, but I think that even before we get there, we need to get involved at the local facility level, engage management, let's come together as local associations and demand and put pressure. GMA as the national body has been eight bits. Okay, but we ought to do our you know bit as well. As a leader in Bitstar, what I used to do was to publish um, a link table of facilities that people were paying and those who were not paying. It put pressure, they said they pay, but they can't do for them. Now they say, you know, prices are going to be difficult. But until there is pressure, because you feel creative by any you know, but I think that ultimately it's about getting it mechanized. Thinking outside the board also means that let's not just look at our salaries. Let's invest in other things. I sell from my head. Because I cannot rely. No rich person has ever um, had one sort of income. It's never possible. So let's think outside the board. The last one was done. My rep, tell me that they were cheering you. Look, before I joined MDC, those of you who are older enough to me, there was always a round cross relationship between MDC and GMA. But we had an agenda to change that narrative, and that was what we've done. Okay? And now it is smoother, the president and um, gas and everybody, it's way better. We fought for the non exponential increasing. Um, and, and our retention fees, and everybody is a testament to that. What we've done, the things that I've listed, you know, the house officer effects, the residency training, the practitioner stamp, and indeed, the ethos, the ethos of the uh, fitness to practice committee on which I serve is non adversarial. We can seek to install people, and that's what we've done. There are many, many examples there. So, my role has been opposite for GMA, and thanks for your support. And for continuing to believe in me, and please vote for me as your vice president. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please, um, time is and I don't want to. The only reason Dr. Yon and the you know, I pointed, I don't any. I will carry on with the next episode. Thank you. So you are distracted. Thank you. So I'll go on and call the general secretary from the register to have five minutes.
So good afternoon, House. Good afternoon. I want to say a good afternoon to the fellows of DMA, the council members, and then our cherished members who are here gathered. My name is Richard Solomon. I'm an oral and official surgeon working in St. Elizabeth Hospital in the Apple region. I have served for over 14 years in both clinical and administrative roles at various capacities, both for child, GMA, different levels. I've also served GMA at various levels from 2011. At the divisional level, I used to be BA secretary. I also moved to become the assistant secretary for Ashanti Division. Subsequently, by your kind mandate, I became the male executive member of the association in Tamale. And then moved on to become two years ago the assistant general secretary. In all these roles, I worked diligently. And in February of this year, when our general secretary resigned, you gave me your mandate to act as my general secretary today. In all these roles, I have endeavored to build on your vision, the vision of the president and desire of members to bring the association closer and closer to members and make the welfare of members relevant in the affairs of the association. And because of this, many of what I promise directly deals with members, members' engagement and welfare whilst also keeping an eye on keeping GMA in national affairs. And so I have encouraged member participation. The young colleagues are here and they will tell you about Rock for GMA, where many of our colleagues now wear our apparel. And for a long time when we have clubs, we, most of the clubs just mapped up like what we have. We also worked hard to put value on membership. What we want to do, and I have played a leading role in all of these initiatives. is to make sure that when you present your ID card somewhere as a doctor, there should be some benefits. And today we've heard of the MTN Association Bundle. Tomorrow we will be awarding some data packages to doctors here. Beyond this, we've also worked on the Stain Lab uh, Partnership, which I also played a key role for which with your ID card anywhere you'll get some discount anytime you attend. We are working on many other initiatives and have played key roles in this. Our association's website and social media handles, some were not existent and were dormant. But you will believe, you will, you will see today that these are active. And in today, we have managed to start generating even some revenue from these websites and some of our social media because of the, the role I have played in this. With your support as well, we piloted online registration so that we can bring membership. Uh, services closer to members. We piloted it in the Northern Division and Delta Divisions so that the inconvenience of having to move all the way to Accra or divisional offices, which are sometimes far away from members, will cease. And I'm happy to report that we have reviewed the pilot and we are in the process of making sure this is fully operationalized come next year. What are some of the new things we'll be doing going forward? I'm looking to make us have a GMA app where it is easy to have a member database. Sometimes calling people to find out tell you who is here. I'm referring my mother here. Some of these things can stop so that you can have a way of knowing where your colleague is, who is where, and to get help. Also, operationalize the decentralization, the online registration address, member wellness and mentorship schemes for which I have led a team to develop some work in here and hopefully we will intend to operationalized or pilot in the next year. Aside from this also, I intend to support the executives and play a leading role in all the various initiatives that are currently ongoing, and also ensuring there's full implementation of our conditions of service and continue to represent the association well in the national scheme of things. I just want to say that a vote for an endorsement for Richard Salome is a vote for service, innovative approaches to working, and effectiveness at all times. I humbly ask you to vote overwhelmingly yes for me and give me the opportunity to serve you as the General Secretary. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you, Dr. Anthony. The question is for you. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Anthony. This question was Dr. Anthony. 
Uh, my brother, are we not going to endorse you and you resign and go and contest parliamentary election? <laughs> uh, let me take the question, the second question first. That's quite straightforward and simple. Um, no, the answer is no. No need to spend too many words on that. Again, on the issue of the car waiver, if I were to tell you that I know the time we will get that or not, I'll be lying. What I can assure you is that processes are underway as part of the process to ensure that we get that back. Of course, there are difficult hurdles to surmount to make sure we get it. And it's not just that we are working towards. We are looking at the possibility of getting this green uh, fund for cars. Some of the seniors benefited from that where it's not the seven second hand vehicles anymore. It's the brand new ones that you pay over a long time. And we are looking all that is on the table. But what I can tell you is that it's a difficult negotiation process, knowing the times we are in. And I believe uh, Dr. Nsian said this name, and hopefully, hopefully, he might put in a word for us. But I can assure you that what you will not get out of me is a promise of when it is coming. But what you will get is a 100% commitment to make sure it is restored. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Salome. So we are discussed. We'll invite the assistant general secretary. All right, so good afternoon, everyone. Mr. President, past president, Madam EC, current and past executive colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, all other protocols of death. I'm very delighted for such a humble opportunity to bring my manifesto to you ahead of the upcoming election. My name is Dr. Kofi Mensa Boatin, an assistant general secretary of parents, an obstetrics and gynecology specialist, member of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons and the West Africa College of Surgeons. Currently working with Mana Mission Hospital a child facility at Peshi, Accra. Kofi has been your passionate, consistent, dedicated, selfless, and multitask lawyer servant for the past almost 10 years. I will quickly share and touch a few remarkable achievements during this period of service. I was a class president 2014 KNUS SMS, leader house of test 2014 for Kitchen Office to lead a Nationwide strike for a nine month on pay salary. I was the leader of House Officers 2015 for Lekma Hospital, a led to secure accommodation for House Officers. I was the leader for MOS 2016, uh, uh, helped with the seeking of financial clearance and postings for our colleagues. Became the junior doctor organizing secretary between the year 2017 to 2019, assisted in organizing outreach programs for SHS uh, schools then became the junior doctor's president 2019 to 2021. Organized the World Kidney Day, the first ever organized CPD by junior doctors, visited medical students, attended graduation ceremonies, organized orientation programs, and what have you. Became the Gado General Secretary between the year 2021 to date, the Chuck Doctors Association Organizing Secretary 2022 to date, and Kolebu Doctors Association Acting General Secretary 2022 to date. The rest of my leadership experience and achievements I have listed on my posters. From the above, you have realized that Kofi has been, Kofi has availed himself for service training over these years, leaving no doubt that he is capable of occupying this position. Is given the nod come Saturday 11th November, November 2023. When voted into position as an assistant general secretary, I have about eight policies, three of them short term, three medium term and two long-term. 
which I have envisaged for the association, of course, not as an individual, but with the help of you and council, we can make it happen. The short-term policies include improving the welfare of all doctors and energizing the junior doctors base by organizing orientation programs, helping with financial clearance, salary processing, and career progression programs, creating a simple, accessible way of information dissemination by creating a GMA national telegram page and archiving all our re relevant and important documents, public interest on our website, creating a platform for doctors in private sector, beside government, lecturers, and even those abroad who want to be in good standing with the association and enjoy the full benefit of our activity. The medium term, I'll be championing the need for doctor associations such as GADO, uh, Chuck Doctors Association, Medical Women, First Soups Groups, to be represented on council, encouraging more doctors to register for the GMA health insurance and possibility of making it competitive by introducing other providers, and looking for opportunity to create a trust and endowment fund for children of the deceased members and members with terminal illnesses. The other long-term policies have been listed here already, but I pledge my support for all these. That is the uh, establishment of guest houses and champion the National Doctors Awards. So in conclusion, look no further than Kofi Mensah-Bwaten for the Assistant General Secretary position for a consistent and a selfless service. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll invite Dr. Tello. Thank you very much. Thank you. All the support of you. I stand before you today. Give me a support to you. Thank you for the love of you. The one I'm standing for is the fight. The people who are pulled in a position. I work closely with the general secretary. Stepping in when he's here. I'm having our task to find my hands on my hands. My candidacy is backed by hands on my candidacy, in fact, by hands -on experience as female executive member. There, I have learned the importance of practical implementation. As an executive member, I have worked with the negotiation subcommittee. I've worked with the strategic um, plan committee, which we are launching the document on Saturday. I've also worked with the DMA fund. I'm a fund board member. And I'm sure you see the initiative we are trying to put out, the alternative investment vehicle. My goal is to collaborate with the president and council to support doctors promote our professional development and advocate for top health care in a healthier Ghanaian population. My campaign motto is the GMA you can feel. And it encapsulates my vision to provide real value to our members. We've made significant progress in recent years and have ultimately worked on initiatives like the Affordable Housing Project, the Business Directory, the Mental Health Initiative. I'm sure you've seen the um, QR codes that are around. We are taking some data for paying out. And also on the GMA front. When elected, I, I will focus on enhancing the member experience using the G Secretariat's database. And this is to streamline communications and updates. I'm also looking forward to working on the GMA app. I'm sure you heard my boss, Dr. Salome. In fact, when I, when I heard him talking, I told someone that Dr. Salome has stolen my idea. But what it basically means is that what I want to do, there is endorsement from the top, so it surely will come to pass. The app is going to be used for seamless information dissemination, and it's going to provide services to members like the directory we are talking about. We are going to host our business directly there. We are going to also have event calendars, discussion for us. We'll be able to pay our dues. So those in the private sector can pay their dues through the app. We can also do top up fund and DMA fund contributions and also purchase souvenirs via the app. Mental health among doctors is a priority. And the initiative we've been working on for the last two years will be launched next year, God willing. And I'm sure you've seen the bit of the work we've done. After this, the AGC will send some data or we send some further information on the burnout thing we have done. In the last year, there's been a lot of talk about it because of the work we've been doing in the background. And I promise to support the full implementation of this initiative. I'm also committed to fostering entrepreneurship among members through the creation of community of practice, which will focus on building and sharing of best practices. In summary, a vote for Salon is a vote for competence, hard work, integrity, and reliability. I pledge accessibility, attentive listening, and proactive action. 
always putting your best in the association test. With your support, we can take our association to new heights. Thank you for your consideration. And together, we can move GMA forward. Thank you. Thank you. So, Selom has saved us two minutes. We'll call Dr. Nathaniel Second. Dr. Nathaniel. Dr. Nathaniel. Hello, good, good afternoon. Um, I stand on the protocols to the hospitals. Um, this afternoon, it's a simple task for me. From a point where you are coming from, and I'll give you one story. I have three kids, and when my wife got pregnant, I mean, the two years she was in jail. So you were asked, one just get uh, loans to pay it, not to pay it. Everybody gets correctly. My wife got pregnant. Have to pay the insurance to, to pay for all the costs. Never be the same. I never could offer my services because I, I give advice. But that's the same. What am I benefiting from? Why can't my wife benefit from me being a doctor? Why? These are things we all are for. And the issue is this we have an association, they've done well, and I agree with a lot of things. That, and where I come from, from the people who are, who are this guy, who are one where I sit, where I'm coming. I have the opportunity to look at the condition of service. How many of us know it's expiring with the same bank? There are few. And then you could hear my other colleagues, my team, the other men uh, talking about this organization. But we are not aware of that. Why should that be true? We should be made aware that this negotiation is happening. And then we offer an answer. So this is where it comes from. Policies. And for an association, you are defined by your policies. Your policies are what people look at to judge you. To look at what you are doing. And then can say, are you doing well? You are not doing well. Therefore, let's do whatever we are doing. So you realize, I'm happy. A lot of them have changed their thinking. I mean, let's go back. A lot of positions, and people can rank for their positions in the for years and years and years. But that is not what we are looking for. We are looking for making GMA better for all of us. And therefore, my campaign was really based on policies, and I'm as aware that it was that then it can be done. I'm telling you, it can be done, and I'll keep on trying to see the things that can be done. Now, and someone talk, I'll give an example. Someone talk about the waiver. Why was the waiver cancelled? The reason they gave us doctors were approving. So therefore, if doctors are approved, why don't you for measures to put in place to them? And what measure did that as white people? We all have unique MPC numbers, registered numbers. So why don't you have a database for the, the GMB and the GRE? Now, any doctor who, who, let's say we all are allowed one waiver in every five years. So every doctor who wants a car waiver will apply through the GMB secretariat. Then they will verify your MPC number no. the G area is approved and then they approve it. Now if you decide to use it for your brother or someone else, remember you have to use it only once in every five years. So if you use it wrongly for someone then you may not finish meaning it can be done. So what am I for? I'm for a few four key policies. Foster trust, unity and belongingness of all doctors in team. And in decision making we must be involved. It's not clear. Yes, there are things, but how many of us are working with this thing? So we need to open up the limitation gap between us. And therefore, we understand there are things we can do. The second one is welfare of all doctors. And I've talked about one, the car waiver. There's also a career development. A gentleman said, and I was happy about it. Now, with the career development, all you do is you have senior colleagues who are in the field. I'm a plastic surgeon by training. I work at trauma and specialist hospital. I can have younger ones and tell them, if you want to do plastic surgery, these are the steps we go through. These are the, uh, the requirements. These are the drawbacks. Do you want to do it? And I'm not for you. So, therefore, we can't create that development. We can't create that And then uh, it's the third policy being innovative revenue generation and financial sustainability. Yes, GMA has a routine thing to do from uh, uh, deduction, but we can do other things. And I say the Netflix have guest house almost every week, or not even almost every week, I know three or four weeks. Why can't GMA have a test in every region? 
or if for anything that was start on the thing. These are things that are too happy. And these are things that I'm looking for. And I say all these things because not I don't have the power to do them my own. But I'm saying this so that even if I'm not voted for, you and I here today at the General Assembly can raise our hand and ask them why is it not possible to have a guest house? Why is it not possible to have a dialysis or specialized center in a region? So that if let's say there's a dialysis center in central region where I went, and then we offer those services to the public. When I need the dialysis service, I get it at a discount rate or it's free. So we have dialysis center, we can have a neuro center, we can have a renal center. And therefore, all of us can make use of it. Then the last one is champion for speed societal advancement in healthcare and educated issues. GMB must have a voice. And the last time I read about Galantin, I think people have talked about Galantin, but the government is not really thing. But we as doctors know the effect of Galantin. Therefore, if we stamp our food, we can stop food political parties or the politicians from taking this venture. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. A vote for me is a vote for these policies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. There is a hand up there, even before I ask for questions. But we'll take two questions. Put your question at this and go on. The apparent compliance of the relevant document. I don't know if anyone has experienced this. Have a sticker on your car. You stop. You say, oh, I'm a doctor. I have to go here. I have to do this. And you're like, doctor sticker, dear. We'll be our will be. Uber driver will be. Both driver will be. What is their stand and what practically can be done with regards to that? Thank you. Any question for Dr. Fuatin specifically? Okay. What about um, Dr. Teller? Any question for her? Okay. Yeah. You already have one question. That would be so you are. Oh, oh, okay. Dr. Salam, hi. Right. So, may I ask just one simple question, right? I, I guess you know. You, you are winning this. But, of course, all of them know they are winning. That's why they are sitting. But can I ask you this? What is it about Pochi that you do not, you think you do not have that when you win, you want to adopt? And what is it about Nathaniel that you think you do not have that when you win, you will adopt? This one, is it pediatric oncology? Yeah, basically, cancer. No one tells you to answer question. Okay, so please, a question for Doctor Nathaniel Tete. Any question for Doctor Tete? No question for him. Okay, so please go ahead. Answer the first question. So instead of who has to answer. Thank you very much for the question. Um, I think the issue of the task sticker, um, I remember back in Confanaji 2014, we realized that some people were making duplicates. I mean, um, fake stickers around. So it came up that we will tax the law enforcement agency to um, have a look at it. I mean, if you see the genuine Top test the cat in the fake one, there's a clear difference between that. So, um, I think so. If you have been stopped at a point, then probably that's the reason. It even got to the point that taxi and um, taxis were having top test the car on it, and some cars, I mean, you can't even imagine. So, that's that's that thing came up, and that was the initiative that were given to the law enforcement agents, especially the police, to be stopping and asking people questions as to why they are having such big secrets. But the current one we have, I think we have some, I wouldn't say security features, but it's, there's a clear difference between the fake and the, the genuine one. So if you have ever been stopped, I think that's the reason why you were stopped. 
But going forward, I think we can make it more straighter, a security feature um, oriented in such a way that, I mean, you can't just, to be too obvious for you to make any fake ones. So that then, uh, th thankful to the association, currently, you just go to the secretariat, you make your payment instantly, you get them. Um, in the past, you have to leave your document, go and come and but now you go there instantly, make your payment, then get which most members have contacted me and I've given them that advice. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for that question. And I think I'll take the question in two folds. One of them is in words. Whilst we are pointing our finger forward, four of them are, or three of them are pointing back. People of our colleagues who have not held their course, people sell their cars and leave their stickers on. And when this happens, people who are not doctors come into the possession of these stickers and you know, I for one, every time I'm going to send a car with a sticker, I intentionally peel it off. And normally the people will tell me, oh, doc, leave the sticker. And I tell them that, no, I'm a doctor. You're not a doctor. If you go and do something in the country, you go and say you're a doctor. You can't against that. So I think that we also have to be responsible when we are giving these stickers. I just to give the stickers to their friends, their family members, but I've seen an Uber driver with a doctor's sticker in my car. And I didn't want to ask plenty questions because it could be a doctor's car. The doctor has bought a car for Uber and has put a sticker on it. That's one issue. The other side is a bit of the cloning, which we are talking quite a bit about. I don't think we are having that too much now. The main problem we are having now is with colleagues giving their stickers out to people who are not doctors. Maybe we all need to be responsible for our image because if we sit back and think that somebody somewhere a GMA somewhere is going to maintain doctors and it won't happen. We are GMA. If anybody talks about GMA, it's not Dr. Srebo and Expo or Council. All of us are GMA. So we need to do our bit in our corner to ensure that we uphold our own image. Then the second question that was asked by the pediatrician. So I think that what I would take from Kofi would be that. I was telling somebody that when I came in, I realized that even a lot of the junior doctors, and I was telling someone I felt quite old, because I remember when I came here as a junior doctor in put, and we were the young ones. They were seeing the seniors. Now they say I'm a senior. I think I'm trans-senior, because I don't see the senior in my body. Uh -huh. I don't know so many people. So I think that's that is what I'll take from him. I'll get closer to the junior doctors. I mean, I've seen this election time. I've met quite a number of them who no. have approached me. I've been mentoring a few in the background, just that you know, these things you don't bring them out to me. So I'll work more on that. And then for Nats, who is somebody I've known for so many years, surprisingly. Nats, what I'll take from him would be his ideas. He has some, some interesting ideas. I call them interesting because in the term in which we are standing for, I don't think they are feasible. But there are things that we can work towards to enable them to become for the next five years to ten years. So these are big or big investment things, some of them too are exceeding our points, things like the tax waivers and things like that. These are things that we can't do as DME. We need significant lobbying and other things. So I think that I'll take the ideas, take it to council and work on. Thank you. Thank you very much. So you Hello. are discharged. Oh, that, sorry, 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 sorry. You have a question, Dr. Ted. Sorry for that. Please go ahead. You owe me your vote for that. Yes. Concerning the car stickers, let's all be fair to us. Sometimes we break traffic rules or do the wrong thing and then point to the sticker and I expect the policeman to to let you go free. And I think sometimes they've seen it. And therefore, when the genuine ones are doing that, then you have to bring the problem. The purpose for the sticker is you and I know you may be asleep or you may be at home and call an emergency. And probably there's a red light, you have to run the red light. Those are the reasons why we're doing it. So I'll plead with all of us. Let's make good use of the car tickets so that when the need comes for a policeman to stop you, it will be genuine reason and they have to understand it. As, as for the other things, yes, we need the safety features. So the features that I have on um, like the road world, so those shiny cars, those logos and things. I think we need to put those logos on the sticker, and those will be things that will be difficult to be made. As for my policies, I'm telling Selom, like she said, we are friends with him. I didn't know she was standing on to us, saw the poster. So I think sometimes we should look at it and let some of us see. 
So I said, okay, but we are good friends. And I think we'll, whoever wins will support the other person to bring a better GMA. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So you are your staff. Thank you. Yes. So we will go to the next position, which is treasurer. So let's invite Dr. Hesi Prince. Please let me. Good afternoon, Dr. Chair. Good afternoon, senior colleagues and colleagues. Good afternoon, aspirants. My name is Lisbeth A.C. Crento. I'm, I'm a senior specialist, obstetrician gynecologist, working in Confuanochi. I've worked in Confuanochi for many years. And uh, <laughs> I'm also a fellow of the West African College of Station. And as an obstetrician gynecologist, I've practiced successfully for many years, both in the public and in the private sector. And I'm also a successful businesswoman. <laughs> and I'm by. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm a successful businesswoman because I started my business very small and now I have a very big one. And so. <laughs> Yes, those who know me know that, yes. And so when it comes to managing money and making money out of anything that we do, I know, um, like I can say confidently that I know how to do it. I'm, I'm buying for re-election as your national treasurer. And, and so what, what work have I done in GME? Um, because I'm in Ashanti region and I'm an active member of the Ashanti division. And I was the female executive for four years before standing as the national treasurer. So I've been your national treasurer for the past two years and I've worked tirelessly, tirelessly to get here. Um, you know that GMA work is teamwork, so I don't do it alone. I do it together with the executives. And then together with the executives, one of the things that I was passionate about is that uh, working in private hospitals, you'll be there and some non-doctor will come with private health insurance, come to the private hospital and the person will see. And you know that we are doctors, sometimes we are not well, but we don't want to be in the hospital where we work for everybody to know that maybe I'm diabetic or hypertension. So I would rather want to go to a private hospital where I know that my colleague specialist is there to take care of me. So together with the team, I was a chairperson. We had to neg negotiate with private health insurance company. Finally, we got premier health insurance. So we signed on to it was voluntary for members to join. And that was like more than two years ago. And some members have joined yeah. and they are actively benefiting for, from it. We negotiated. Uh, just like two months ago, and no. I mean, together with the team, we we're able to get a good deal so that members will continue to do that. And um, I want to say that one of our leaders, I mean, past leaders in Africa, Nelson Mandela, once said that a leader is like a shepherd, he stands behind the flock, letting the noblest go ahead, whereupon the others follow not realizing all along that we are being directed from behind. Uh, <laughs> I want to say, um, I think I have like two minutes to go, but you all know that being the national treasurer and handling money, you have to be prudent in the management of money. And that is exactly what together with the executives I have done. And that is the reason why this year, a lot of members have come to GMA wanting, needing help, especially to do with finance. And you all realize that we have been solid behind all of you. And then the second thing is that for the first time in the history of the association, in the presentation of our financial statement, we presented the management account 
with Kebas, the up to date expenditure for all of you to realize that we are making good use of your money in the interest of the doctor. The interest of the doctor was our hallmark because as someone who is handling money, you would have to be accountable and you would have to be prudent in the management of the account. I don't, you know, you all know that I don't want to say much. What I want to say is that both for me as your national treasure, and I am not going to disappoint you. <laughs> A long Thank live you. Ghana Medical okay. Association. Thank you very much. <laughs> Please, questions for Dr. Trento. Okay. Thank you. So please, you understand. We will invite the female executive as well, Dr. Kadi Domo. Welcome. Hello, Aspiran. Sorry. Good afternoon. I'm here to seek your votes to become the female executive member of our noble association. I am Dr. Gladys Nalum Lilomoku, popularly known as Yoe. I have been with GMA for all these years, and I have a record of working for GMA Greater Accra Division and the National over 17 years in very various ways. I'm a pediatrician and a part-time clinical lecturer at the Polybo Teaching Hospital, Child Health Department. My ambition for GMA is to be a vibrant, proactive, and continuously relevant association for its members and the general public. Based on this, and my mission to see GMA to continue to support NEC and Council to consolidate and improve upon our current gains whilst implementing and improving upon the welfare of doctors, urge me to stand for this position. I believe that my past and current roles in GMA have adequately prepared me for this role. And so I urge you all to endorse me as your female executive member. I'll just give you a short brief on that. Currently, I'm a member of the GMA Finance and General Purposes Committee. I also am a member of the GMA Corporate Social Responsibility Committee. I serve on the Greater Accra Divisional um, Group of the CPD Committee, and I'm the female executive member for Greater Accra. In the past, I've also worked with GMA. I was a member of the GMA at 60 anniversary committee. I was the first chairperson for the internal committee of the GMA fund. And I can assure you, I did a good job for which I was rewarded. I was elected the first and youngest member of the GMA pension fund, and I served well. I was also the chairperson of the food committee for the GMA at 50 anniversary committee and the GMA at 50 AGC in the year 2008. I have been the treasurer for Greater Accra for over 14 years, attesting to my integrity. Yes, and I've also been a member of GMA AGC committee, that ad hoc one, and also entire committees. These roles attest to my dedication, experience, versatility, dynamism, trustworthiness, and diligence, values and qualities that I believe will great fit our association when voted as a female executive member. I know that in this role, I'm to support NEC, and therefore I bring on board all these values, and I promise you I will deliver when given the mandate. So my key policy is to support and work with NEC and council to improve upon our welfare as members of GME, and also to protect the health of Ghanaians. So I will continue to promote the affordable housing scheme that we are already having, championed by my outgoing female executive <laughs> member. I also continue to work with GMA private health insurance team, Dr. Crenzel and team. Then also expand mentorship program that we have. Medical Women Association of Ghana has this mentorship program, and I believe that working with executive male incoming and also our general secretaries, we can expand this. Um, mentorship program. I also want to advocate for the formation of a GMA Health Education Committee. Maybe this committee could work together with the World Health Committee to make sure that doctors also have good health whilst we are delivering good health to others. So yes, the mental health bill that we are going to also launch, we are going to work with them, and also for the general public as well. 
these activities, I believe, will improve upon the image of GMO because it will make us more visible to the general public. I also want to work closely with GMA strategic planning and research committee to ensure full implementation and monitoring as well as evaluation of all our policies. Our strategic committee team has things to tell us and I believe that when they launch the new program with also support. I will support the various groups and societies in GMA and promote the activities to further enhance the impact of association. So I urge you all to vote massively yes, 100% yes, or Dr. Gladys now Lomile Lomote as a female executive member of the association. So together we can make GMA and continue to be proud of GMA. Thank you for your vote in advance. Thank you very much, Dr. Lomote. Questions go. Yes, I'm Dr. Malcolm Derry. It's just a simple question. Um, some of our female doctors during housemanship, they sometimes get pregnant, some of them. And after um, they deliver, they go maternity for three months. When they return back, this time, the 24 month program for their salaries are over. And they don't get some. Uh, Thank you very much for the question. I had a question on the Zoom link the last time. And since then, I followed up with Dr. Akuki and the rest. There's a policy that actually she has worked with them, which to um, bring to fruition, which hasn't seen the day, uh, light of day. So I promise that I'll take up from where she left off and then work with our team to make sure that we can help our junior colleagues. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, any questions? Okay. So, thank you very much. Dr. Thank you. So we'll move to the male executive, and we have Dr. Daniel. Good evening, colleagues. Uh, my name is Dan Anani Primpong, vying for the position of male executive on the executive committee of GMA. I am a former medical superintendent of Isikado Hospital. I am the immediate past chairman for Western Division. And currently, I am the acting male executive since January 2023. I'm a pediatrician currently doing fellowship training at Confanotri Teaching Hospital. I have been involved with most of the initiatives of GMA over the past 10 years, playing either key roles or acting supportive roles in these interventions. From the fight for codified conditions of service for doctors, its implementation, including the payment of 13 month salary. And I want to indicate that the first group of medical superintendents who implemented the 13 month salary, I was one of them because I believe in it and it's something that is in our condition of service and we need to implement it. So my doctors benefited from it because I was a medical superintendent. Also, I was involved in the restructuring of the Junior Doctors Association to make it truly nationwide. And out of that restructuring that we did, you realize that now you have people who are in other hospitals, not the big teaching hospital, contesting for key positions in JDA, and they have actually won. Either two, it was a rotation between Kompano Teaching Hospital and Kolebu Teaching Hospital. And they have now representatives in all the regions, making sure that all the issues of junior doctors come on board. I was involved in the drafting of the constitution of the JDA as well as Gador, that is the residence forum. I'm a founding member of the residence forum. And through that advocacy that we championed with support from GMA, now we have resident, re, a free, free, free residency training. It is through the work of Gador that some of us uh, helped put together a few years back. I've also been uh, involved campaigning for what we are going to benefit on Saturday, 
purchase the Evo team. And let me also indicate that Western Division, under my leadership, was the first to actually implement e-voting in the divisions of GMA. And that is record for council and everybody to know. And the lessons we learned from it, we have been able to share with council. And I believe that has informed the modalities that we are going to implement come on Saturday for us to allow e-voting for everybody. I'm actually a member of the team that uh, that amended the, G uh, the GMA constitution to allow e-voting. I also want to indicate that I have been a consistent voice for private insurance when I joined council. And I'm a member of the team that actually negotiated for the voluntary scheme that Dr. Krenzo talked about, who is our chairperson. And uh, it's been running for the past one year. Currently, the team is working on a GMA-owned, a GMA-managed health plan for high-cost treatment, like chronic dialysis, transplant surgeries, hip replacement, spine surgeries, neurovascular surgeries, even uh, international evacuation and treatment outside. We want to set up a fund that if any doctor is diagnosed with any condition that requires any of these interventions, we can fall on that fund immediately and provide care, whether in country or outside the country. And later on, we can go through the system that is in the public sector to get money to reinvest the fund so that it will be sustainable. Come Saturday, we will bring a proposal to the effect. We believe that members will support us so that next year we can set up a scheme like this. I want to indicate that as male executive, I wish to pledge that I will support initiatives that the president and council um, will bring on board. There are a few of them that I want to mention. The health fund I have talked about already. The second thing is a mentorship program where young doctors can be deliberately mentored for leadership roles and managerial roles in the health sector. And let me indicate that about two years ago, I was a member of the three member team that the president put together when there was opportunity for people to buy for district director of health services. We helped them, coach them, and put the application. Some of them have been appointed. Just this week, we have noticed that another application has come. And already we have started discussing at ESCO how we can support members who are interested in uh, med medical student positions as well as digital data health services so that they can be appointed. I also want to indicate that when voted or given the mandate to serve as a male executive, we want to ensure physical visibility of association nationwide. So on 11th of November, vote Dan Anna Nefrenpon as a male executive and will not disappoint you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will invite Dr. Stephen Amwak. Please put your hands together. All right. I'm um, uh, answering my behavior. Good afternoon to you all. Dr. Chairperson, and ladies and gentlemen, all protocol of Zev, I stand before you to do two things. First, to introduce myself to you, and then to seek your vote and support come Saturday, God willing, the 11th of November. My name is Stephen Amwak. I am a senior medical officer with the Presbyterian Hospital in Boko in the Upper East region. Please remember it's in your prayers that we might have peace. I'm also a resident in the Faculty of Community Health, WCP, an associate member of the Ghana Health Service Ethics Review Committee, and the current secretary of the Upper East Division, seven so since April of 2019. I'm buying for the male executive member position. I've contributed my bid to the division and the association. Uh, we may be familiar with the fact that the MOH policy is that when you serve in an underserved area, you're eligible in one year less than the usual number of years. And so in the case of medical or dental officers, you stay for two years and you get promoted to three years. But this was not being done. And thankfully, in the COVID year 2020, I championed the course, and we had six doctors in the upper east being promoted for the very first time. I didn't end there. I championed the course further. And in 2022, um, the GHS released their promotion guidelines. And you would notice it extended to all regions. Now, you serve for two years in an unserved area, and you get promoted to the grade of an SMO. As far as e-voting is concerned, different people have played different roles. My bit was that in the COVID year 2020, 
to the of doctors Bernard Hammond and Louisa and Kruma, the JDA chair, we filed a motion to have other things allowed for e-voting. While it didn't carry through at the time, it garnered support. So that the following year in Sumiani, when that similar motion was passed, it went through, and last year in Bulga, we were able to implement or accept that e-voting should be implemented. And on this occasion, I'm proud to announce that in all humility, we in the Upper East Division were able to implement electronic voting on the 3rd of May, 2021, becoming the first division to actually implement e-voting. I've also played a key role in taking care of the welfare of mainly doctors in the Upper East Region by offering exchange to IBED. I want to seek your vote to be the male executive member. As you know, the role does not have um, explicit duties. Essentially, a male executive member plays a supporting role to the president and neck. I do not claim to have the key to Dr. Sheriboff's heart, but I'm committed to supporting him and that of neck in seeing to it that our, our thoughts, our aspirations are achieved. We hosted you last year in Bogatanga during the AGC, and I was part of the organizing committee. Remember the theme, I proposed it, neck uh, accepted and amended it accordingly. Then we remember the economic downturn last year. We were able to secure the venue, the benevolence of the venerable man of God, Rev. Israel at no rental cost. And in so doing, it saved our association some funds in terms of operational expenditure. When elected into office, I intend to support the uh, NEC and the president to champion the cause so that our conditional savings are implemented. We have clear cut guidelines on the implementation of the health coverage for health workers, like an ally does to an act of parliament. We have the policy, but implementation is the program, the problem. I'm also committed to ensuring that we foster unity among us. As you know, there are seniors, there are juniors, there are retirees, there are those of us in GHS, the universities. Let's seek no. everyone's concerns. GMA largely no, is mainly the public doctors, but everyone else matters. We can assign sections of a program like this to the different categories to, to run it so that we all get recognized. That is a simple message I have for you. Remember to vote Dr. Stephen Amwak as your male executive member on Sunday. I've demonstrated integrity, that such a, sorry, I've demonstrated integrity, dedication, selflessness, and dependability. Vote Dr. Stephen Amwak as your male executive member on Saturday. Thank you very much. God bless us all. Thank you very much. Please, question. Thank you very much, um, Dr. Lecter from this master. I'm here also going to and please during this um the speech of both candidates, you mentioned the e voting. Everybody was saying they were the first to establish the I want to really know who actually <laughs> brought the e -book. Thank you. As as for as for being the first, you can always claim. But you know, you know, you know what, Dan, my good friend. Thank you very much for showing me the way to God is love. As for what happened between there, between you and I, to stay there, I just have a little bit of worry that you say you were able to mentor some colleagues to become directors, district directors. And now the call for that position is up again. And we are now talking. It, 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 has, it went against what you and I believe in, that we need to make sustainable and effective systemic changes. What happened? You were not able to sustain the previous change you made, and now you are still talking. It should have been recurrent. And now you know, oh, you know, Uh, thank you. As a pro se litigant, I do not know whether the evidence you want is the preponderance of evidence or the or proof beyond reasonable doubt. But I'll go for proof beyond reasonable doubt as a higher level. Well, we implemented it on the 3rd of May 2021. If the camera could um, 
Zoom closer. I'll show it on our WhatsApp page on the Upper East region, the 3rd of May, 2021. So if a different date is given and it's earlier than that, I'll concede that I add and actually we were in the first. But until then, I believe we're the first to implement it and it's on record. There are so many members that can testify to that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, on the matter of who did first and who did second and all that, I don't think it's really a very big issue. I think that if you just want to use dates, let me indicate that the legislation or the amendment of the GMA constitution that granted permission for e-voting to be possible was only done or accepted in December, November 2022. So it is not possible that a division would have done that. If they did that, then that is ultra virus. They went against the constitution of GMA. So the Western division is the one that went to the right legal processes. And after it has been accepted by GA, based on the mandate that was given, we did the right thing in January 2022. Concerning the question from my senior colleague, uh, I want to indicate that the first time that team was put together, it was actually an ad hoc team, a three-member ad hoc team that the president put together. And graciously, I was made a member of that team for us to help collate the applications and also to be able to coach people who are applying for the position. Now, what we want to do is that we want to have a sustainable system. So we want to establish a mentorship program where this one will be ongoing. So that anytime we don't even wait for application to come, people who are interested will start mentoring them and coaching them. So that anytime there's opportunity, we'll link them up, quickly get the applications and support them to be able to get those positions. So that's my response. Thank you. Thank you very much. You are the chat. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for, for the audience. And I can tell that people are excited, but the campaign doesn't end here. I've repeated it that you can continue to engage them and convince yourself so that you know who you are voting for. And the voting you heard a number of them say, we are very much excited as a group to be able to roll out this online voting. This one will be the proper for the first time because this one will be the national election. In the past year in Tampa, if we had some form of electronic voting, I remember very well, it was at the Tampa point. Yes, but this is proper online voting where members who are here can also participate. And one of the main reasons was to expand the electoral process to allow more people to vote. And I can see that we have achieved that because we went into our records and we realized that in the past, we had seen 400, 700 people that gave us. At the end of registration, we have Yes, so that is how much it is. That is how much we have expanded. Some 170 were not in the number of them have since um, approached the secretariat, those who are still interested to go to make good their payment or that so that they think good and they are still compiling the data. And so I would encourage you, um, let's also encourage members to go, because the different registering is then I'm saying this because we piloted the vote among a very small number. And given that small number, some did not go to our yes. And the JTA recently had their election. Yeah, voter turnout, I think it was 50 something. I don't think it was more than 50 
voter turnout in terms of people who voted. So let's not make all the noise we expand the process in case the people don't do it. So let's encourage the best to vote. And so what is going to happen is that on Saturday morning, you will receive SMS and email because it's possible that some members are out of the jurisdiction and they may not be able to get it. So they are sending the link via email as well. It will come with your username and a unique password. The username is your registered phone number, the one you registered. But the password is generated by the system. Regardless that being sent by SMS, you cannot use it once. Once you finish voting, once you can, that is it. And there is something I need to, uh, information I need to give you. I realized when the candidates were sent, the FBA give them a yes. So now, this is the first time we are rolling this thing out national election. So it's still learning for us. And in the past, we have taught the assistance of the national central council. So we approached a number of vendors. We could have just gone to the administration with the election running that we can access. But because of the test, one test something select vendors that we can interact with and there will be a bit customizing it. That said, we didn't want to uh, disrupt the assistance so much. So in the pilot, we realized that for unopposed candidates, you will not have no, you will not have to get to the vote. It is yet to be the system has designed that way. And we didn't want to disrupt it and cause major So what it is is that for the unopposed candidate, if that candidate is not the source to take, so we will come to accept the name to get the case. Now, when you finish voting for all the various categories, you have a summary of your vote. And there is a back back that you can have to go back to any of the categories exchanges and then at the end see the summary again but once you click on the vote you are done you are done so that is it i want to ensure you that the ec is very committed to having a very good election so let us not be unnecessarily anxious and i am sure that come the dinner time of Saturday, we will have our new elected president. I must add that the GMA constitution says that even if we have three people, they must be all a uh, 50 plus one. The national executive, uh, the national have advised us in time past to see if we can reduce that portion of our constitution so that if we have more than two, it will be the simple majority. Because it's not easy when you have to get four to achieve 50 plus one. But as I stand here, you have to accept that. And so if can have more than two people by the winner must still make 50 so if we do not achieve that, we would have to have a rerun for the top two. And the, that is where the electronic voting also comes to hand so that we have to go and bring ballot paper. So in the event that we do not get a clear 50 plus one, there will be a rerun for the top two of that category. And our vendor has assured us that 
we can reorganize ourselves into an hour to send a for them that category so that you'll be able to your a winner. So come Saturday the 11th, you receive the link in the morning around 7 a.m. and then the system will be updated. We have from 8 to 3 p.m. to go. So let's remind one another to pass their vote. If for any reason that day your phone doesn't want to go online, there are meetings with routers that will be there. You can go and access your email and post. So um, I wish all of that a very pleasant day. Thank you very much. videos and the steps as well. So we've been sharing them on the platform and we'll continue to share them. And um, just so you know, it's not no verification, no good. But the verification was for you to correct your phone number, email address. A simple thing like that was just somebody had to use a phone and so you send the link to that Facebook. If we haven't voted, then we don't know that that's what happened. So don't get agitated. There will be a death and then death to come to the coming. And please, um, right now, I need the data to carry the kids in the day that we have to be able to get to the other. If I can them right there, they are good numbers. Yes. So you'll be seeing the vote. Real time, real time. We'll have a monitor there, but it will only be for the fully case. We'll be there watching. The system starting automatically. So we have to count. Yes. So thank you. Shall we give the EC a clap, please? They have done a big, big job, and uh, we are grateful. All right. So, a question for the EC. Please, um, we will answer the question at the at the at the the football game is ongoing. You will take the question. Okay, please. The EC has graciously agreed to to fill the question. Please, it's only one question that was asked. Please. Only one person. Only one person. That we, we are taking because of the way the system has that we are being, that the skip is a no. The skip is a no. Please. And there's no room for abstaining as well. No. They just, yes. Yes. The skip. Okay. The skip is okay. no. After this, that's the learning. We did, this is a system. That has the view as they say. So we didn't want, but we can always learn. We have two years, so we use it again. So we will learn from it and it will inform subsequent ones if we need to make any drastic changes to it. Agents, yes, they will sit there and then they won't see individuals. It's anonymous. So it's just the graph. It just keeps going up. Yes. Uh, or, or there be or there be any cordial members? Any cordial? Oh <laughs> well, I want to be one. And then two. You are an interested part, so you can't be a cordial member, but I think going forward, we'll consider bringing uh, a cordial. And my second point is, um, if on Saturday we pass a resolution that it will be simple, and since we will pass it in the board, 
and the declaration is in the ticket. And then we all agree that it will use it for this year's voting so that we have our future. So that there will be no second vote. So that it will be simple majority. Yeah, so the general assembly so that they will ask you about that and then move it forward. I will move but a resolution. You mentioned, I don't know whether you consider the national um, electoral commission rep and but they also yeah, so that they will, I will pass that resolution. Hello and welcome to Votella. Hello. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Easy, and kudos on the good job so far. Um, so, yes, uh, this is to inform you that uh, the match has started. Our boys are giving it to them. With, with you. Um, but if you get there and you realize we have lost, please. Uh, uh, I am not acting ultra virus or so we would proceed there to observe the match. Hopefully we'll be in the final. But then immediately after that, we'll proceed to Tafradi Mall, the basement, for the this evening's cocktail. After the cocktail, there will be a showdown after party. And that one, it is only when your great grandmother calls you that you can go back. Many of you, I know your great grandmothers are not alive. So you can't go home this night. So please, we'll call on Malcolm to give us the closing prayer, and then we can close the session. Thank you. Is it Malcolm or Welcome to Votella. This is a step-by-step -step guide on how to vote in this year's Ghana Medical Association general That's elections. Kindly make sure you have been registered and have received an SMS that contains your username and password. And do not share your username and password with anyone, as it's called disenfranchised. Now let's look at the steps on how to vote in this year's elections.